If you go into Michael's house at certain points throughout the game, you will encounter a random encounter where Tracy is with her boyfriend. She will slam the door in your face. The door will become locked so you can't get inside. And then you will hear some suggestive noises coming from inside that bedroom. As you can see, if you take a look at the door when it's locked, and if you just kind of keep your ears open, you can hear something very suggestive is happening on the inside. So as you can see, I've got my mod menu up, and I'm about to reveal exactly what is happening behind Tracy DeSanta's bedroom door, what thousands of you guys have asked me to do. So here we go, boys. There we go, we're through, and oh my days, what am I looking at? To get your hands on one of these amazing consoles, click the link in the description below to my huge giveaway. Good luck and enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort. I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing day. What we're gonna do today though, guys, is something which hundreds of you have been asking me to do. In fact, ever since I did the video with Tracy DeSanta on the yacht and what happens if we leave her on the yacht or something, loads of you guys then commented what happens behind Tracy DeSanta's bedroom door. And for those of you guys who don't quite know how significant this is or how many people want this, if you go into Michael's house at certain points throughout the game, you will encounter a random encounter where Tracy is with her boyfriend. She will slam the door in your face. The door will become locked so you can't get inside. And then you will hear some suggestive noises coming from inside that bedroom. And the question still goes around the community today, three years into the game release, about what actually happens behind that bedroom door. Well, guys, what we're going to do is get to that bedroom door. We're going to get this random encounter. And I'm going to use my mods to go behind that door and to show you guys exactly exactly what is happening inside Tracy's bedroom at that moment in time. Before we get into this, I just want to ask each and every one of you guys, if you could be ever so kind enough to press that thumbs up button below this video, it would mean the world to me. I spent six hours making sure we get this video done because this random encounter is random. You can't find it if you were to search for it. You just have to keep going back and forth between Michael's house and just San Andreas. So that's exactly what I did today, but it took six hours to do and to get this random encounter and to be basically film this video, so if you guys could be ever so kind enough to press that like button, that would seriously mean the world to me, but let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into things and uh, let's just make our way into Michael's house and uh, let me show you guys exactly what is happening behind Tracy DeSanta's door. Okay, so we're inside Michael's house. This isn't actually a live recording, so I can wave my hands about and do whatever I want to because I recorded this earlier. But as I was searching online, I was so surprised to see that there were no answers about what actually happens inside Tracy's room. It was just thousands of questions. Loads of you guys asking the same thing to see exactly what happens when you will breach through it. But because you have to spend so long to get this random encounter, to set all of this up, no one has done this. So I'm actually kind of like kind of going to reveal to you guys exactly what happens behind Tracy's door when she is locked in there with her boyfriend in GTA 5. Three years the game has been out and this is the first time I'm able to show you guys this. So as you can see, we're just messing around with Amanda downstairs. Let me quickly show you guys the kind of scenes of what you guys will expect if you do encounter this and then we'll go inside her room afterwards. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if you guys could hear that, but that's kind of like two random encounters you will expect. Both of them are linked to each other, but you can actually get them both at separate times like I did, which is why I kind of skipped from one to another. But basically what happens, if you guys play GTA 5 campaign, you will come across this random encounter. If you walk upstairs in Michael's house, uh, then you will basically see Tracy with a boyfriend in her doorway. And this is because she has her own online dating site and she basically invites guys over. Hence why if you're playing the mission where she's on the yacht, for example, she tells the guys that it was her house and it was her dad's house. And they were like saying, yo, amazing pad. Because they obviously shot some stuff there with Tracy because she's all about that life and stuff. As you can see, if you take a look at the door when it's locked and if you just kind of keep your ears open, you can hear something very suggestive is happening on the inside. And thousands of questions have been raised in the community over the past few years on exactly what is happening behind this door. So as you can see, I've got my mod menu up and I'm about to reveal exactly 
exactly what is happening behind Tracy D. Santa's bedroom door, what thousands of you guys have asked me to do. So here we go, boys. I'm going to press forward. We will breach through. And as you can see, absolutely nothing is on the other side. It's kind of, I can tell some of you guys are probably thinking, that's a shame. Why is Rockstar Games doing stuff like this? They always add secret things in the game, which would lead us into finding secret scenes in GTA 5 like this. There are stuff like that in the game, and we have spoken and shown them on this channel, which is why when I went into this bedroom thinking that something was actually going on, I was really surprised to find out that absolutely nothing was going on whatsoever, and if you go inside, you will simply just see Tracy standing there, completely idle, not doing anything. And for those of you guys wondering exactly where the noises are coming from, well, the noises are still coming from her bedroom, and because the door is locked, any normal person who stands outside that door is going to think they're doing something on the inside, which is why so many of you guys have been asking me to go inside the room and see exactly what Tracy is getting up to. But as you can see, we're inside the room, and what I noticed is that the noises are actually coming from her bed, as if the bed is some sort of radio, and Tracy is just standing there, completely idle, not saying a word, not moving at all, not doing anything, and not reacting whatsoever. She is just completely idle, and she is inside the room, and the bed is making the noises. And of course, if you guys do end up going inside her bedroom when she is with another guy and she slams the door into your face, then of course, I'm pretty sure the guy would be doing the exact same thing, just standing there, not doing anything. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. I wasn't really gonna spend too much time to get both random encounters in this video. I just kind of got the main one. But I guess if she is with another guy, like I said, my thought is that the same thing is gonna happen to the guy and the guy is just gonna stand there and not do anything whatsoever. But this was really surprising. I was not expecting an outcome like this. I thought something, at least something would be happening inside Tracy's bedroom. But as you can see, absolutely nothing is happening. She's standing there completely idle and just not reacting to you, which is really, really strange. But what I'm going to show you guys now is another random encounter. This is like the pre-encounter to the other random encounter I showed you guys, because as you can see, the door is still open, but Tracy is with a guy. Now, what I showed you guys earlier was the door locked with Tracy inside the room with what looks like and sounded like her with a guy. So this is like the pre-encounter to that encounter. And if you do end up seeing this random encounter, it will go one of two ways. The way which happened to me is that she just stood there, she didn't do anything, and she didn't slam the door on me. The other encounter, of course, is she will see you, she will react to you, and she will be like, stop looking, go away, I don't like you, go away, slam the door and stuff, and you can't get inside her bedroom. And then if you are Michael at that time, it's actually a really funny scene, because Michael would then scream, at Tracy and be like, open this door, open the damn door, I do not approve of this, and it's hilarious just watching the entire scene unfold. But for those of you guys wondering exactly what happens with the guy inside Tracy's bedroom, because as you guys can see, Tracy is blatantly with another guy right now. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that to trigger. I could only get her to be with a guy in the doorway. She would never slam the door in my face, and I do not know why. In fact, I came up with a few interesting theories. Maybe it wasn't Michael or something, maybe I wasn't doing anything correct, but Every time I tried to get this encounter, I never got to the point where she would slam the door in my face. So I couldn't get to that stage of figuring out exactly what was happening inside her bedroom when she was with another guy who we saw beforehand. So I can only kind of assume that the same thing happens. Of course, we will see a locked bedroom door. We will hear these noises. But as we go inside, we will just see Tracy and the guy idle doing nothing. That's my kind of theory. But of course, I could not prove this myself. I could only show you guys exactly what happens behind the door when you hear hear the noises coming from it when it is locked, which even that surprised me so much because I expected to see at least something, and I'm pretty sure you guys expected to see something as well. But unfortunately, nothing happens, which is super, super surprising, but I still hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And of course, if you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more awesome stuff just like this on a daily basis. As you can see, once again, Tracy's doing absolutely nothing inside her bedroom at a time and we all think she's definitely doing something. But if you guys want to go and do this for yourself, whether you're interested in seeing this random encounter again, whether you've never seen it before and you want to check it out for yourself again, or whether you're just interested in using mods, well, make sure you go over to Michael's house at nighttime. That's around the time I went, and that's around the time when I kept seeing this over and over again. So if you want to find out exactly what happens inside her bedroom, go at nighttime, and uh, that's probably the best time to see these random encounters, because that's when she brings over the most guys to Michael's house, and that's when you can see stuff like this. So I went at 9 p.m., but I'm pretty sure if you guys went at any time late evening, you would see this. So make sure you guys go into Michael's house
starts at some point in campaign around 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock or something like that and you should see something like this. But guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. Smash that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here as well so you don't miss out on any more awesome stuff just like this on a daily basis. And let me know in the comments below exactly what you guys would like to see me do next. It could be a what happens behind this. It could be a what happens if we do this. It could be anything. So just let me know in the comments below exactly what you would like me to do next in GTA 5. And you never know, guys, it might make it into the next episode. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys next time.